Hi, welcome back to Live and Breathe Horses. <laughs> so today we're on Little Bing's story because this is a really big event for Little Bing. He hurt his leg and he's just turned 25, never been injured in his life, never been lame. He did have a call at once. So on Sunday, which is now five days ago, he was, it was one of those kind of wild stormy days. It is again today, actually. <laughs> And I was working Morisco and he and Umo were running around and I thought, oh good, they're getting some exercise. It was all very nice for a little while. And then it got a bit much and I got him out of there, but it was too late. When I came on Monday morning, his off four fetlock was all swollen up. And I don't even have much experience with that because I've just been so lucky. I've never had injured horses. So that's been a big learning curve. It's the tendon and well, it was quite swollen when the vet came. So she was like, well, it might be a tear or a strain. Let's see how it goes. So he has been getting the treatment of a top Olympic horse. My friend who used to work with top horses, <laughs> we've been hosing him all day. Um, ice hose, ice hose, and then a little break, more ice hose, ice hose, and another break. And it's so much better already. He's also been having some anti-inflammatories. Um, and I was putting some gel on the first days, but then of course with the cold and wet here, I don't want his leg to be all the time wet. He's getting a bit distracted looking over there. We're here doing our hosing inside, just in the doorway, because it's just suddenly started hailstoning. It was a nice sunny day before, wasn't it, Bing? And then it started hailstoning. So I would like to just mention about the emotional side of illness because he was not happy. Of course, he didn't want to stand and his friends were out in the field. And I suddenly stopped and thought, where am I at? And I was actually, I don't know, I think quite typical thing to do of one blaming myself. I should have seen it coming. I should have stopped that happening. I should have got out there quicker. I know better. I should have done that. You know, what stupid idiot, boom, boom, boom. And then also feeling really bad for him, thinking, oh God, I must be so sore. I mean, the first morning he literally couldn't put his foot down. It was like it was broken. He was like, oh. So all those thoughts. And of course, when you say that to another person, it's a bit like, oh God, poor you. And, oh, oh, oh. and you know, they know you're feeling bad for them. But <laughs> the horse doesn't know that. He's just going to feel, now he'll start nudging me and saying, I'm fed up standing here. He's just going to feel that negativity, isn't he? And not know what that's about. And it's not helping. So I stopped myself and uh, wiggle my toes, feel the ground, take a nice long deep breath uh, and just uh, start to feel the body and stop mind thinking about it all. <laughs> Go to my heart, feel the warmth of my heart and then just say, okay, imagine I'm healing and energy is coming through the air, through the air, the angels, the ancestors, God, whatever you believe in. But just to get that positive vibe of warmth and healing energy, because we are all healers. It's just finding how we can heal. You know, some people connect with that or not. So I don't know, but I do know that <laughs> that negativity isn't doing any good. Um, because also then he's stressed, so he's, everything's in tension. So for him to be calm, the more I can be there and imagining him well and all um, healing vibes. Hey, Ben, do you think it's worked? Your leg's looking amazing. I think it's working. <laughs> anyway, that's a little update on Bing's story. Poor Bing, we're going to get back to hosing his leg. We're going to do 15 minutes and then it's feeding time, I think. What do you think, Bing? I want to come down and get all your head in the picture a little bit before we go. Oh, your head's too big. <laughs> so thank you for joining me and little baby Bing today. Keep on tuning into the light and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Oh, that was a lovely breath. Did you hear that? <sighs> Thanks, Bing. Lay, lady, lay. Lay across my big brain's beard.